And I'm gonna do my thing either way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Guys, I know many of you watch BBT, that's the Big Brother Titan, right? And I know you all have your favorite, and your favorite, yes, I know who it is, is here with us today. I'm talking about no other person than Tati. She's going, you know, in the house, Tati was always cooking up a storm. So that was Big Brother house and we couldn't taste it we couldn't do much justice to it today she's going to cook something very delicious for us she's making a south african street dish and i'm going to taste it and i'm going to let you know if your favorite indeed can throw it out although i don't have any doubt in my mind that she can so without further ado we're going to introduce tati to you and she's going to take over and show us how to make this um, amazing South African dish. I'll be asking her a few questions here and there, so don't go anywhere, okay? That's, that's, let's go. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> hey. So guys, we have your thing here, Tati, she's in here. So I decided since I'm in Nigeria, yeah, how about I make you guys a South African street food dish yeah this is something that is popular in the streets in south africa so i'm going to make ikoda right i know pretorians um know this as pato but yeah that's what i'm making and i know durban people call it bunny chow but yeah i'm gonna make ikoda today so what do i have wait, right? wait a minute you made this wait. in the house right i did what I made did this big for, brother say let me tell you guys so i made this for big brother in the house when we had like a wager task and big brother told me that my food was great so <laughs> you know what i mean so big so, sister is in the house today i'm telling I'm you the <laughs> <laughs> so i'm like let me make this for big sister ify here mm -hmm. right so I, I i know for a fact she's gonna enjoy this yeah Hi. So, I mean, all the ingredients look amazing already. Yeah, Don't yeah, worry, we'll drop yeah. a list of the ingredients in the description box. So make sure you um, check it so you can also recreate this amazing South African dish. Yes. Yeah. Right. So are we ready? Yes, we are ready. So I'll leave her to it. She's yeah. going to kill it. <laughs> already here we have our fried um, Russians. So we have that. I already fried this. And then we have our fried bacon. So, what makes um, Ikota um, popular is that we actually cut the bread into like quarter 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 mini loaves yeah so from one full loaf you'd usually have like four mini loaves which is a quarter that's why we call it e quarter by the way i think that's that's actually how the name came about so i hope you guys can actually see how i'm cutting this bread because i think it's quite quite interesting yeah so this is it. This is how you cut it. So what I'm doing here is that I'm going to pan fry the bread. Okay, so yeah. we're gonna pan fry this, you know, so it turns a bit golden brown. So this usually goes on top of Igota right after we have stacked our mini quarter loaves. So now that my mini bread has turned golden brown, looks cute, looks very delicious. I'm just gonna take it out, put it on the side, cause it's actually gonna go on top. There we go. This is for, this is for the egg that we're going to make. Okay. 
So the last thing to do actually is the fries. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make fries, right? Because a gota is actually not a gota without fries. So I'm going to season the fries so that our fries are actually coming out tasty. Let me mix it up. So in the pot, I'm going to finally add my seasoned fries. Okay, this is how I usually check if it's... You know, because we don't want to burn ourselves. Perfect. Our fries are done, you know. The main ingredient is done. So I'm going to take them out. They look great. Love that for us. Can I just say, in South Africa, when you, you can't make ikota using the ready-made fries. Oh, you have to cut it yourself, hey. like peel. Yeah. No, I mean, you can, but like it's... Cheating, right? Yeah, yes, so everything is done, and now it's time to layer. It's time to layer everything up, yeah. So, we're gonna start by stacking everything inside, and yeah. So, first things first, you guys, can I just say they don't have acha here? So, don't say I'm robbing this quarter, they don't have acha. So We'll start with our lettuce at the bottom. So, gonna put some mayo at the bottom. You know, so it must give. What's next is that we're gonna go with our fries. And you stack them, guys. We're not gonna be greedy with this. We're gonna stack them like like nobody's business yeah i'm gonna stack this okay stack the other one because i want ify to actually finish all of this yeah so <laughs> never <laughs> <laughs> so let me put in my sauces i've got mustard Got mustard. Okay. So right now I'm gonna use tomato sauce, guys. One thing that I've noticed, Nigerians actually call tomato sauce ketchup, which is wild because we don't call it ketchup at all. Such Americans, yeah. I'm gonna add your ketchup, tomato aka sauce. tomato sauce, yes. whatever you want to <laughs> call it. And we've got our bacon. Bacon. Let's go. Really, you just choose how you want to layer it. It's not like there's a way or what you should actually start with. So, put some bacon in it. And then now, we're going to add our egg, yeah? Egg on top. Egg on top. I'm going to add more. I want more. Yeah. Egg. So now, I'm going to add some sliced cheese. We are done. No, no, no. Let me not lie, yeah? Let me not lie. How do I forget? Ooh. How do I forget my sausage, yeah? So here's the thing. They usually just like squeeze it on the side. Yeah? You just squeeze it on the side. Um, I'm a bit worried as to how you guys are going to eat this, right? Because usually we wrap it in like a little plastic thing, then you hold it and then you just like bite it. We have the plastic. <laughs> we have. Because I just want you guys to understand that this is not like a fork and knife thing. No, usually in South Africa, you buy a gota, you're just running around. It's, it's a meal that you eat. On the go. On the go, like yeah. standing up, just walking. Yeah. This is a full meal. This uh -uh. is a heavyweight a meal, heavy. yeah? And then the cherry on top, your golden little mini loaves, yeah? They look cute. <laughs> Gonna add them on top. You can always add a little bit of sauce if you want to. I'm just gonna add mustard. I don't know about you guys, but I like myself some mustard, so I'm just gonna add it wherever I see fit. And 
on top and on top here and we are done ladies and gentlemen here it is the beautiful ikota so yeah Woo -hoo! Woo -hoo! <laughs> let's go i cannot wait to taste this this is home this is this is home okay so tati is all done and look at this this is giving me Akara, right. bread and Akara vibes, guys. <laughs> bread and Akara vibes. Look, I don't know how she wants us to eat this. How are we supposed to eat this? Listen, you just dig in, you go all in. That's that's not really how you eat it. It's not okay. like a fork and knife type of thing, no. Sounds like yeah for my soul. Yes. <laughs> Let's go, I'm ready. Are you okay? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Should I wait for you to go first? I mean, I'm gonna do my thing either way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Mm. I just got reminded of home. I love this. Mm. Everything is working. Right? Got a bit of mustard here. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. Shall this we? This is another bite. This is gangster, man. Mm -hmm. I'm telling mm. you, this is real gangster food. Mm. Mm -hmm. As a Nigerian, this is the kind of meal we love. If there's meat in here, mm -hmm. egg, chips, bread, you know how we love our bread. There's hot dogs, there's everything good in here. This is good. All but please don't eat it every day. I won't eat <laughs> this every day. You know, once in a while when I want a treat, yeah. Yeah, right. But this is good. This we'll is have this on like your mini cheat days, mm. yeah? It's good. So I'm going to continue this off air. And trust me, I don't know if I'm going to finish it. Maybe I'll tell you guys later. She's going know. to finish it. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to. I don't want. I really want to finish it. At the same time, I don't want to. You guys, you understand what I mean? This is so good. It's so so good. Tati, thank you so much for coming. Let me wipe some of that. You too. Oh, me too. Yeah. <laughs> you can't be all pretty and everything to eat no, straight forward. No, you need to be gangster. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming. I've learned how to make a kota. Yes. Did I pronounce it well? Kota. Kota. Yes. Kota. Yes, queen. <laughs> so all my South African subscribers, get ready. This is just the beginning. Mm -hmm. Now that I know Tati and Tati has come in here, she, I'm going to disturb her because I'm going to start cooking a lot of South African yes, meals. So yes, guys, please. you want to stick around. I know how to make a, a, a kota. Yes, kota. Kota, kota. <laughs> It's I know how, how to make kota how now, it. yes. and it's really, really delicious. Yes, so yes, thank yes. you so much. And guys, do not forget to leave a comment and subscribe to her page. It's actually going to Please, open one. Please, I'm actually one. going to open a page right now. So subscribe. Please, please subscribe. Show her some love, you know, encourage her. YouTube, you know YouTube is not an easy place. Ah, ah YouTube. So please show her some love, encourage her, let her know that we love her here so thank you so much for watching for staying with us to the very end god bless and um so i see you in another recipe bye. video let me go eat my food bye, bye. 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 seriously good thank you <laughs>